Welcome back to your clips of the Starting Five podcast. I'm here with the boys, Austin, my your host, myself, Caesar. This is your basketball episode for the week, guys. We only have three two topics for our episode today. Two topics, three people, three people, three man pod, you know, man, <clears throat> three man pod. Missing another two, two people don't want to show up. Tussie's at Thanksgiving. Jake, uh, we don't know where he's at. Forget, as usual. I forget where. <laughs> Am I? Forget what Jake's is. But hey, sorry, sorry that Jake's not here. Yeah, we got y'all. I don't know yeah. where he is. It's fine. We'll keep y'all entertained you know, forever. Scheduling conflicts, but you know, we still do what we can. Try, try to bring the best episode we can with the guys that we have. Sorry, we've done this before. We're cool. Hey, and we're wearing all red. We're all red. You know, with the uh, three musketeers, I guess. Shout, shout out, shout out, shout out if your favorite color is red. Hey, shout, shout out if your favorite color is red. Hey, it is my favorite color. <laughs> I ain't shout gonna lie. Red. Okay. See all right, but <laughs> hey, nah, nah. <laughs> all right, you're being weird. <laughs> In all seriousness, let me let me collect myself and let me tell you all the two topics we have for today's show. The first one is Chai Gilius Alexander, SGA. Gilius, Gilius, Gilgis, Gilgis, Shai Gilius, Shai Gilgis Alexander, Gilius. SGA, as better known, has. They had an amazing start to this season. So the main question is, can he be all NBA and all star MVP candidate? Or does he have most improved player of the year locked down? Then our last topic for today's episode is another surprising thing for the NBA season so far. And it's not just one person. It's actually a whole team. And we're talking about the Sacramento Kings. They've had a hot start. Are they an official playoff lock? Not just playing, actual playoff team. So, guys, with me actually <clears throat> having a little bit of trouble with the topics, but actually finally getting them out there. Awesome. What do you think about SGA? Uh, SGA, he's man, he's had a great start of the season, averaging 31 points per game. And now the Thunder are an actual team. It's not, and it's honestly not just him. Like the, you can see the development that the Thunder's having. Yeah, but he's been the focal point of that. And mm-hmm. he's been dropping 30-plus games. He's even had 40s. He's had game winners this season. He's been all around just amazing. But uh, for what I see for him, All-NBA, he'll definitely make an All-NBA team. I'll, I'll put, I think for sure he'll make an All-NBA team. Well, not the first, but I think he can be second or third. Yeah, whether it's second or third, yeah. All-Star is a lock for me. Mm-hmm. MVP, candidate, but won't win it. Yeah, no, I don't think he win it. And I think it, I think it's, I think he's most improved. Uh, people will say Lloyd Markkinen. But I think it's Shea Gilgis Alexander because, I mean, people knew he was good, but not to this extent. Like mm-hmm. people knew he was a twenty point per game scorer, but to drop thirty and be consistently just a walking bucket, he's leading the NBA in the uh, points in the paint. He's been able to get to his shots all season, no matter who he's been playing. Mm-hmm. And if he can keep that up, I think he's most improved. Lloyd Marketing, uh, I mean, I like what he's doing over there in Utah, but I feel like Shea Gilgis Alexander is just on a whole new level. He's playing at superstar level, mm-hmm. not like Lloyd Market is playing at all star level. He's playing at superstar level. Like mm-hmm. thir- when you reach that thirty points per game level consistently, it's that, a different tier. It's different. You're on your yeah. you're on your own tier. I mean, this last uh, yeah. this last game he had against the uh, the Grizzlies, he only dropped fifteen points, but before that game, he dropped a forty two. He dropped a 37 and a 37. That's Yeah, that's just And then in between that, he dropped a 20. And then right after that, he dropped a 39 and a 33. Yeah. So he's consistently dropping 30s. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's like a that's like a crazy like five-game stretch yeah. of like yeah. consistent 30 balls and a 42 ball. With, with six assists, too. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm, I'm there with you with um, basically what you said. Um, I, for me, at least, I mean, we talked about it before the pod. It's still Lori for uh, most improved, in my opinion, because – the ja- it's just the the impact he's had on the Jazz in general. Like, <clears throat> you can't sit here and tell me that we thought the Jazz were going to be top in the no, West. No, you know what I'm saying? Everyone was going. Everyone was predicting them to tank to try to get uh, uh, Victor. You know, yeah. and it's like a whole complete 180, and it's majorly like based on his play. You know, and yeah, I mean, I get it. <clears throat> like two, I think it was like what two pods ago where we were talking about. Uh, or was it one pot ago for the for the point guards and had Shea in it, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I know he, I had him in there, and I was talking about it, all big about him and stuff like that. But, I mean, definitely, I think he will be in the MVP uh, talks, I mean, from the 1 to 10 t- uh, spot, <clears throat> as per usual in the beginning, in the middle of the season. He'll be in the lower 10s. Um, I don't think he – I don't think I don't, I don't think, think his team a, will win enough for him to get in the yeah, MVP. I don't think he will win it, um, honestly, because you got to go against – you got to go against Jokic, Giannis, and Luka. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, to actually win it. Those would be your yeah. – your main competitors. I don't think he can go up up against somebody. Plus, you, what you said, I'll do the team 
<clears throat> as a whole can compete with them. Right. Uh, All star, a lock already in my opinion. It's just exciting to watch the play. Um, he's young as well. I mean, <clears throat> yeah, he's pretty young. Uh, and then All NBA, yes, second or third. He's gonna have to be. He's gonna have to go a little bit crazier, I think, or just continue this the entire season. Uh, for him to be able to be in that first All NBA team, in my opinion, that's what I think. Yeah, it, it's just hard because what Luca's doing, you know, he's like I said, like how I said before the season, Luca's a lock for All NBA. And yeah, then, and then Cur- what Curry's doing also, that, yeah, those are the two guards. I think Curry will keep it up all season. That's what I'm saying. He would have to like yeah. to him even be able to break yeah. into the conversation. He would have to like improve on what he's doing and what yeah. he's doing already is crazy. Yeah, and I just see like players like. Like Plus the guard room is like really tight, mm-hmm. yeah. like in the league. So he's got to like he's, he's gonna, gonna have he, to explode. He, someone's probably gonna have to like miss it for Shy yeah. to jump in there and make yeah. it. Yeah, it's just like there's other players I trust more to do it consistently than him. But like just because I haven't seen him play to this ability, like I can yeah. see John Morant playing that level still. I can still see Donovan Mitchell putting up the type of numbers. Trey Young. Yeah. I just I mean I, I really don't know if it's SGA just can play for thirty points per game the rest of the season. But I mean mm-hmm. shit, he's doing it. He's proving yeah. me wrong because I remember. I, at the beginning of the pod, I said he might come down to earth, and he hasn't came back down yet. So yeah. He's just keep, keep proving me wrong, at least. Yeah. I'll admit that. Yeah, it's just like what you said. I mean, it's like it's kind of similar to the MVP, uh, MVP talk. MVP yeah. talk. He has a lot of players to go through to be able to be in that, you know what I'm saying, in yeah. the final stages of talks or even be in consideration for it. Yeah. I just figured we'd talk about this because, like, I feel like the media is just always talking about, like, Lakers and, like, Nets, like teams that really aren't that good. Mm-hmm. I yeah. mean, the Thunder aren't good, but, like, it just like stuff goes under the radar. Like we're also about to talk about the Kings and stuff. Yeah. Like no one's really yeah, talking, talking about, about their the stars. same yeah. things. Is what I'm saying. Like people just talk about the yeah. All, yeah. The, all like the basic stars and stuff. Yeah. yeah. It's just like No, I like it. I like it. So <clears throat> okay. So to bring in into victory again, to bring that topic, even though I think we're all in pretty much on the same page on what the Thunder should do or shouldn't do with the topic of Victor. <clears throat> Before the season even started, there were always talks about the uh the Jazz, if not getting that number one pick, they can offload all the picks that they do have in the future. Not the Jazz, I mean the OKC Thunder. Sorry. Offload all those picks that they do have, plus SGA, to go get Victor. The way that he is playing now, can we all agree that's pretty much out the table of offering SGA for Victor? Yeah. Or or do you think like they would still consider it because it's Victor? And then like the the prospect and the uh the and how big his name is right yeah, now. I think he's untouchable, bro. SGA. Yeah, I th- I, think I, I don't I don't I think he's untouchable. I yeah. think so too. I think the best move was just to stick with the young core that they have because I mean you do have Chet Holmgren coming back yeah. next year and you have Poku Osheski. What's his name Poku Osheski? Yeah. Right, Oshesky, playing yeah. playing well too. So Poku Osheski. Like, yeah, yeah. You can you can still run with them too. I mean Chet's. We still don't know what you have with Chet Holmgren. Like we forget this dude was a, the top prospect coming out mm. like last yeah. year in the draft. So I think it'd be it wouldn't be the smartest move to trade mm-hmm. SGA and just yeah. I guess just bank on Victor. I mean, we know Victor is going to be good, but it's just yeah. also that what if factor. Plus, like, I don't think I think people look at the Thunder and they're like, oh, like they lack talent. I don't think they lack talent. I think they they're just all young. Yeah, yeah. dude. Like, ha- literally, I, I'm pretty sure their entire roster is at least I, like their oldest they, player yeah, they don't is have a probably player. like, pro- what tw- I'm gonna say like 26, 27. I don't know. Like, if you look at the roster and look at all their ages, I guarantee you most of them are like under 26. Yeah, no, I you know I, what I'm saying. So like, so they don't too. have they don't really have a true veteran. Like every single person on that roster is mm-hmm. young, and that's kind of like how I'm they're pre- building their future. I, I I'm pretty sure Shea's the oldest one. There. He might be, and he's yeah, what? How he's old? Twenty four. There you go. Yeah. So. Which that and that's like that's that's a that's a good start on how a team like OKC right now in their position. That's how you have to just kind of rebuild. Yeah. You know, you just got to re. I mean, they've been rebuilding from the draft. They have all these picks, bro. They like do. I'm not gonna lie. For the next like four or five years, they have like what. They we, t- we talk about least, all the time. They, they have like what, like fifteen plus picks. Yeah, I think they average uh, yeah. between yeah. three and four picks uh, in the first round for the next uh, four yeah. years. Yeah, and like you or look, at, next you look at um, like how their roster looked just like three, four years ago. You know when they had Westbrook, when they had Paul George, yeah. when they had um, CP3. But like you know, they got rid of all that. They washed everything. They got Shea. Yeah. You know, they traded all those for picks, assets, and now all these young guys are just coming in, and now that's that's how they're rebuilding. Yeah. So and yeah. they just have to accept that. Like, But, I mean, it's a good sign because they have they have good players, yeah, right and they're now. proving that they can win games and be competitive. So 
that's just that's just a good sign for them moving forward. Yeah, no, I just checked like in the rotation at least Shea's the oldest player. He's twenty four. That's insane. Yeah, so like They're, right when now the oldest player is twenty four. Yeah, and years right old. now the Thunder are not even the worst team in the league. They're borderline a play in team. They're competitive. Yeah. So that, you're in a great situation if you're a Thunder fan, and you have what we said fifteen picks. I yeah. think it's sixteen. Yeah. In the it's next something like that, bro. It's like years. fifteen plus picks. Yeah. 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 So yeah, they is. have the most picks. Them in the Jazz. So I mean, those two are in the best situation yeah. right now. Yeah. Moving like forward. they are definitely the youngest core yeah. in all of basketball like right now like you can they're bet like the thunder's better than the rockets they're better than the magic like the pistons mm-hmm. like there's yeah. multiple teams mm-hmm. that are better than they're even better than the damn lakers yeah. like there's right teams, now they are better than the lakers yeah yeah there's just teams that they're better than and like that like and with your oldest player on that team being 24 that's wild mm-hmm. like, that's insane so and that's why I think just let him develop, and that's, that's why I yeah. think he's untouchable because like or shy shy has now he's not even in his prime. Yeah, he like he has now developed his game to it. I mean, we talked about it last week when we re- we were ranking our point guards, right? Yeah. And then we were talking about Shea, mm-hmm. or because we were saying like you know can he be a number one option, whatever. Yeah. And right now his that's game what I was has, talking about yeah, two weeks. Of his my bad. his game yeah. has now developed into now you can say that he has been proving himself to be the number one guy on this team, and that's why like they're winning games and that's why they're competitive. Like yeah. you take shy off this team, like even for how talented they are, like they're not going to win games without shy. Oh no. So it's like, yeah, right. So that's why, like, they should just look at that and be like, okay, we're going to build around Shy now. Yeah. And everyone else around him is just around his age. So now they all kind of have this, like, their locker room culture is, like, the same. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then you do have the picks to where you can end up going to get a superstar. Because let's be honest, you don't need them picks. Like, you don't need that many picks. No. You can go get a superstar on a team, like, just not working out and stuff. And you can pair him with Shay, pair pair him with Chet, pair him with Josh Giddey. And just see, mm-hmm. like, keep your young player. I feel like you give this season, you give one more draft, mm-hmm. and then I feel like you start trading picks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Plus, it really depends on, like, how Chet ends up being. Yeah, like if, now. if Chet ends up being, like, really good, then, like, it could be a different conversation. But also, yeah. like, if he's bad, then that, that might put them back, like, like another year or something. But yeah, we'll see. So, with them, like, what awesome, he brought them up. I had them on their standings as well in the Western Conference. They're right now sitting at 12. Uh, they're, they're behind the Warriors, but we already know the Warriors. <clears throat> There's just no way that they stay that they don't stay at eleven the entire year. So, okay, see, do you think that they'll be most uh, locked for playing, or do you think they can possibly sneak into the playoffs with the way that uh, they, are you SGA talking about playoffs like top six seed? Like top six, yeah. No, 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 you don't no, think so? no they won't. They won't be a playoff lock. They, I don't even think they'll end up being a playing. I don't think they, they don't think be, they can I sneak into the play. I don't think they'll be a playing either. No, right. I think they'll be like right under that. Mm-hmm. No, because. Yeah, it'd be hard for them. So to So do you the think? Plan. So okay, so they stay right where they're at, either eleven or twelve, essentially. Yeah, right, like a yeah. game out, maybe. Mm-hmm. Like they'll fight for it, but I just at the end of the day, I think they're. Mm-hmm. I think yeah, I think they're. They're one of the more competitive teams, mm-hmm. but like yeah, I just don't think they still have enough to be good enough to make the play. They're, they're mm-hmm. for sure probably the best, like worst team. Yeah, mm-hmm. you can say. Okay. I think like it clears. Like, like I said, bro, they're just so young. Like they're like yeah. that's like the way we talk about OKC okay, is how we talk about the Pistons. Yeah, because you know? like we talk about how the Pistons have this bright future. They have all these young players. They had a great draft last year, right? Yeah, but they're still not where we think they need to be because no. they're young. You I know mean, what I'm saying? So you can't. And 15, yeah, so, you, so you can't. You situation. can't. You can't really hold OKC accountable for not winning yeah. games though because of how young they are. They still need to develop. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shy's the only one that right now has really like proved himself to like be that guy now. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, like, I just think they're going to be right where they are, like, all season long. Because mm-hmm. they still got teams like, what, the Kings, the Blazers. For what? Um, like, to like make just, the like, to compete in the play. Like, yeah. I mean, the Jazz are number one seed, but, like, I yeah. don't really But, like, I'm saying, like, towards one. the end of the year when yeah. maybe, like, some of these teams might go yeah. back down to earth, maybe. Yeah, like, you got the Timberwolves. I think the Timberwolves are still Timberwolves, better than them. Um, you got Kings, Sacramento. They'll probably be Blazers, cool down. Spurs, um, the Jazz. I, mean, I, think the, I think the Thunder's better than the Spurs. I, I do. Uh yeah probably I like the roster better but yeah. the Spurs have just they've been playing good but I think yeah. the Spurs are coming back down to earth now too though so yeah. I mean well the Spurs are six and twelve they're right yeah. below yeah. but that's what I'm saying like you you kind of have a lot of teams that's like on the same tier yeah as OKC so yeah. I don't know yeah I don't I don't know if they're big enough to make the play in though mm-hmm. so all right did you say where you have him finishing like what did you do hit your list for oh us no too? I actually didn't um all NBA for shy um I've I feel like he could maybe possibly sneak in maybe like a third team if I would make a prediction. But yeah. like I said, we were talking about uh, there's a lot of guards mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. in the league right now. that So I don't know. I don't really want to say All-NBA. All-Star for sure. Like I think he's that's a, that's a lock. MVP yet again. He'll probably be in conversations, but I don't know if he will win it. It's just too much star power right now. And the most improved, uh, I think he probably won, won most improved. Um, I know. We were just talking about Lori and everything, but I don't know if Lori will be able to keep it up all season long like Shea will. Yeah. Like, I think Shea will be more consistently 
Yeah, like, that's, that's I think he'll, like, yeah, I, tr- another factor, I trust yeah. Shea averaging more, like, t- like 25, 26 plus all season long. I feel like Laurie, even though, like, he's, you got to give him his flowers now and what he's yeah. doing with the Jazz um, is definitely astonishing. But, like, I don't, I really don't think the Jazz will for real be this good all season long. I think mm-hmm. they will eventually come down to earth. And, yeah. like, Shea's numbers right now, if he continues to, play like he is, I, it's probably going to be unanimous, honestly, for it, most improved. I'll say this. It'll be easier for Laurie to win it, though, than it will it be will, Shea, Because Shea's like, yeah. going to have to average, like, 30 to win yeah, it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He he, aver- he's averaged, like, 24 first yeah, season. Shea's going to have to be playing like this, yeah. the, like, all season long. Yeah. But, like, if I were to trust someone to play like it, it would probably be, be Shea. Yeah. Just because, like, Laurie's, like, he would win it because, like, people's going to be like, well, like, Laurie, like, he shouldn't even be in the conversation. Yeah. Like, not, I don't even think he was even in any of the odds. Yeah, uh, no, he prior was, to the season like, not starting, top, not top. yeah, like you had mm-hmm. other players like Anthony Edwards, Tyrese Halliburton, Tyrese yeah. Maxey, like we, you know Wilson. when we did our yeah. awards things, we were talking about it. But yeah, I don't know. Um, I think I think Shy will probably just play like this all year, and if he does, he'll he'll win it like unanimously probably. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Bull Bull mm-hmm. snuck his way into that conversation too. Bull, Bull. <laughs> yeah. People are saying um, people are sleeping on uh, Bull Bull because uh, he's Victor before Victor. <laughs> <laughs> It's just now he's actually getting playing time and playing yeah. good. So yeah, you know he's averaging thirteen points per game. Yeah, everyone's like, man, y'all good. hyping up. Yeah. everyone's what like, what team Damn. is he on? He's magic. on the Magic. Magic. It's on the Magic. Okay, so he's still with the Magic. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. But now everyone's like, uh, you guys are hyping up Victor, but y'all forgot about Bobo. <laughs> <laughs> he's been in the league way before Victor yeah, doing his no, own definitely. thing. Yeah. He just dropped twenty two. Yeah. No, he's, he's actually no, he's actually playing good. Oh yeah, he is. He can shoot too. Talk about the Magic. They're also a very like young, exciting team. Mm-hmm. Paulo. Paulo. Yep. Looking like one of the best rookies ever. Paulo is actually so good. Yeah, He's like actually, so good. Where are they in the, in the, uh, the, ma- the Magic are the third to last. They're yeah, third five to last. Okay, I see them. Five and 12. Yeah. Well, they do got a bright future, though, with pa- uh, Paolo. Fine. How do I say it? Paolo Banchero. That's how you say it, all right? Shout out, Paolo. <laughs> they have a bright future with him. Shout out, Paolo. Bro. My bad. I just like, Rookie I can't remember how I said because when we played 2K, I always said it in a specific way, and I can't remember right now. It's I haven't okay. played 2K in a minute. But no, the Magic do have a bright future, especially. But what's crazy, what you just said, they, what what did Bobo just drop? 22? Yeah, 22 against the Pacers. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah. Think about Bobo. Like you said, he bro, has... But he got a bag, bro. bro. He's, he he's been bro, in the he league. Bro, he has a bag, bro. He's been in the league for a while, and he did. He hardly ever got playing time. Yeah. So that's like that's what's like... Because, I mean, like, he was... like when because he, he's so tall. When he came out, like, people were hyping up Bobo. They were like, bro, he's a seven-foot point guard. He can yeah. handle the ball. He can shoot. Yeah. He can do all this. And then he... Like, he just he, never got He hasn't time. really, like, lived up to that hype until, like, right now because he's finally playing. He's playing good. And then yeah. obviously you got Victor, who everyone's like, "Oh, he's the next LeBron prodigy." I'm like, "Bro, like yeah. y'all got Bobo too." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fact. Yeah. He dropped 26 against the Timberwolves two games ago too. Hey, no, he's balling, bro. Okay, so shout out Bobo, man. Keep All it right. up, bro. Shit, we got you. I got Bobo you most man. improved. <laughs> hey, it like happen. like Austin just say he just nah, he's I don't sneaking know. himself well, into that conversation. Bro, I, I mean, know. he averaged two points for his career, and then he just uh, and then exactly. he, now he's averaging 13. So. Exactly. Yeah. it's a massive jump, 11 points. That's mm-hmm. it's crazy though. No, but hey, hey, a bubble. Shout out to you, bro. Are you guys ready to move on to the next topic? Yeah. The Kings. Right. The Kings, bro. Sacramento Kings. Hey, before this season started, I said they could be in the play in at 10. I gave them the last spot. You know, I was I was I was finding some demons in my head of get them in there. And I got them in there, but man, I'm not gonna try to sit here and say I've I, I foresaw this. Or that I pre- I could have predicted this. Bro, the Kings are fifth in the West. They are nine and six right now. An amazing hot start for the Kings. Right now, they are officially a playoff team. Right now. If the season ended today, they're number five. Do you guys truly think that they can keep it up, though? Or do you think that they will come down to earth a little bit and stay in that playing spot where I thought they would be? Realistically, you go first, my. Um, I think they'll be a play-in team. Mm-hmm. Um, like I trust them being more of a play-in lock than a playoff lock. It's just yeah. it's like we just kind of talked about it with OKC. Like I still think they're on like that tier. I mean, they're obviously better, mm-hmm. but like I can't really lock them into the playoffs because I still think there's a lot of other teams in the West that are better. Yeah. Um, and there are t- they they are a team that I think will eventually come down to earth. Um, but I definitely do like their chances right now of making a play-in because yeah. I mean like. They've surprised me. I mean, I kind of knew they were going to be good enough to be competitive yet again, but, like, obviously I didn't have them making the plan because, you know, I assumed that maybe the Lakers would be better. Hmm. But, um, but like, they're, they're playing good. But, like, I, I think I think they definitely could could be a plan for sure. Um, yeah. I mean, 
their roster isn't terrible. Darren Fox is playing at a high level, which I mean, averaging twenty five. Yeah, I mean, it's not surprising. That's what he does. But yeah. this is probably one of the best um, supporting cast he's had around him. Probably you could say. Yeah, I mean, Sabonis um, is averaging seven. Well, seventeen and a half. You can call eighteen. Right behind him yeah. with, with um, 11 rebounds as well. Because, I mean, and even like Keegan Murray, who, you know, people were saying that he could be in the rookie of the year conversation. And then they picked up Kevin Herter, who he's playing. He's shooting pretty well. I, I think he's like, mm-hmm. I think he's shooting like 50% from three or something like that. I don't know. But, like, they're they're playing good. So, I think, uh, yeah, I don't, I wouldn't lock them into the playoffs. That's, I think, kind of a little bit much. But playing, though, for sure, I think they could definitely be good enough to, be, to make the play in. Mm-hmm. If I'm predicting right now, yeah. And like you said, Herter is averaging uh, 17 points per game, and then uh, Keegan Murray's averaging 12 points. Yeah, I mean, like, God, there you go. Yeah. Kevin Herter's averaging 17. Like, yeah. he's, he's actually bowling. Yeah. He's yeah. another candidate for, you could put say yeah. for most improved. No, he's bowling too. Yeah. yeah. For me, though, I think the Kings, I mean, I th- I think they're a play in lock. Like, I think, they're, yeah. I think they'll keep this up because right now, like, they, I like their moves they made over the all seasons. I wanted to put them in the playoffs, like, in, out of predictions, but I just talked myself into putting the Lakers in there. I thought yeah. it'd be a little different. Me too. But That's I could I, I could definitely see a world where the Kings make the play in. I mean, I like their moves they did in mm-hmm. the offseason, bringing in, like, former coach of the year, Mike Brown. Yeah. They brought in Kevin Herter, brought in Malik Monk. They drafted Keegan Murray, who's been one of the best rookies. Mm-hmm. And uh, De'Aaron Fox is playing at an all-star level. I mean, and they have some good wins. They blew out the Nets mm-hmm. on national TV. Yeah. They beat the Cavs. They beat the Warriors. And they're beating the bad teams like the Spurs, the Magic, the Pistons, mm-hmm. and like when they play the Lakers, they, they have, keep they have really them. quality so, wins. That's what I'm saying. Like they're they're beating the teams that mm-hmm. they should beat, and that's what you have to do to make the lo- uh, play. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. like the Lakers. One thing bad about them is they're not beating. Like well, they actually kind of are now. Anthony Davis is on a tear, mm-hmm. but like before they were they were losing games that they should have won. So yeah. that 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 hurts you, especially when the NBA is as competitive as it is. So when you can beat the bad teams, that that shows you like that's just. Added on to your record, yeah. yeah, and then you're also beating good teams here and there, so that's good. And then right now they're just playing as a team, and the Kings, they're I don't know, Mike Brown just it's just different. Like Luke Walton was horrible for them, mm-hmm. and then uh, what was the last? I forget the second half of the year coach that they had. It was like Grunt or some, but yeah, but Mike Brown's been playing really good. I mean, we knew he was this good when he was the Cavs coach and mm-hmm. then the assistant mm-hmm. for the yeah, Warriors. Yeah, he's definitely a good coach. I mean, he's proving it right now. Yeah, he's definitely a coach of the year candidate. Yeah. In my opinion. I'm definitely in locks with you on the aspect that they got playing. I mean, I had them before the season started, but, dude, the way they've come out, it just solidifies, like, my trust in them. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because, like I said, even when I put them in there, I was kind of iffy on it. Like, I had to talk myself into actually putting them in there because it is the Sacramento Kings. Mm -hmm. You know, we know how how long of a poverty franchise they have been. So... But the way that they've come out and played, and the way I mean, the massive wins that they've gotten over good teams, yeah. and the, they've like, we always sit here and see teams lose games that they shouldn't. Yeah, and that's what hurts. Okay, teams. and these guys are winning the games that they should be winning, yeah. which is what you would rather see from a good team. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's they're doing the do. correct things, and then the icing on the cake is that they're pulling out wins that a lot of people are saying they shouldn't be. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So. Yes, I mean just the way that they've come out, the the composure, their coach with their coach Mike Brown, it just shows you that they will most def- the, it's a lock for playing, maybe a sneak in for the last playoff spot, dude. You never know w- with the NBA, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, players can get hurt, um, something can happen, someone can go on an amazing run towards the end of the season and put them over, over yeah. you know, over the hump. But realistically, right now, confidently, I think we can all sit here and say that they are playing locks. Um, and then next year they can be, dude, they can be even scarier if they, if they have another amazing year. I mean, off season, like they had yeah. this year. Yeah. They're on a six game win streak mm-hmm. currently right now. Who's the, who, who is it? Um, well, so they beat the Cavs, Lakers, Warriors, Nets, Spurs, and Pistons. Yeah. See, so that was, I think that's, their, was it, that's their, that's their it six game stretch. Right now. And Warriors, right? Yeah. Yeah. Those are three quality wins. Yeah, for sure. You know especially saying? in the way they beat the Nets, one fifty three to one twenty one. No, like, no yeah, that, that was bad. like they they, yeah. they dropped yeah. one hundred and fifty three points. On that the Nets. was bad. That's yeah. insane. Yeah, and then um, on Herder, because uh, I pulled up this after you, uh, mm, he's yeah. uh, fifty percent from three. There you go. Yeah. Like yeah. I said, he's shooting fifty percent from three, yeah. which is like astonishing. Yeah, that's yeah. crazy right now, and he's averaging seventeen points. So this is the best that Kevin Herter has been playing. Yeah. So I mean, that goes show you that maybe that's also um, a sign for uh, Mike Brown. As a coach, maybe he's doing mm-hmm. something to um, and help Keegan a lot Murray, of these players uh, step Murray up. Is, uh, shooting thirty six from three as well. Their schedule's getting kind of hard though. The Kings, really, they got Grizzlies, Hawks, Celtics, Suns coming up. So we'll see. 
We'll see. I we'll mean, see if, if they're, we'll out. see if their win Wait, streak can. Uh, yeah, their their next the their four their next four game stretch is tough. They got Grizzlies, Hawks, Celtics, Suns, and they're on a six game win streak right now. So we'll bro, see if, they can if go it snaps. Two and two, bro, if they can go two and two, that, we'll that, see I if think it that's snaps here with the Grizzlies. Would you agree with that? If they what? get two and two out of that four games, I think that's oh a yeah for, them. for sure. I mean, because you got the Grizzlies. You said the Grizzlies, the the Hawks, Celtics, the Suns, and the Celtics. Yeah. Yeah, they're definitely gonna have a tough stretch coming. I think they can beat the Grizzlies. So, and, like, uh, you know, this this is kind of yeah, like John Morant. They can beat the. Grizzlies. This is kind of where you know we can start judging the Kings a little bit more too when they start winning these big stretch of games too. Yeah, they definitely. I mean, I mean, they can go on an eight game winning streak. They can definitely, they can definitely sneak one against the Grizzlies, and I think they can sneak. No, they can't because the, you know Jaws not playing against the Suns too. Because I mean, the Suns have been letting up a lot of games lately mm-hmm. too. So mm-hmm. that's definitely. He's, I don't see them beating the Celtics, and I could see the Hawks beating them, especially in Atlanta. Yeah. But you never know, honestly. And the Pacers, I mean, they play them after. That could also be another one. Mm-hmm. Indy's playing well, too, though. So, Could you actually, like, by the end of the year, like, imagine a West with, like, assuming, like, the Kings the wi- in the playoffs? Like, just, like, wild shit happens. Yeah, like, what the if, like, Kings what the, if, like, the Jazz wild. and the Kings, like, That'd be make w- the playoffs. That'd be a wild. Like they're, ex- like they're like a playoff lock. I think like they're be, like I think it'd be crazy. They're a top the, six seed. It, it would be crazier for the Kings, not so much for the Jazz because the Jazz have been in the in the playoffs. But oh yeah, the, the, the surprise would have, be because of the team that they have. Yeah, they have the longest playoff drought like yeah. currently in like sports right now. That's yeah. sixteen seasons. Yeah, like, that, that's what I'm four saying. Major sports in America. Yeah. It, it's going to be crazier for the Jazz to be in the playoffs than the Jazz. And the reason I'm saying that is because, I mean, like I just said, the Jazz have been in the playoffs, and I get it. It's a completely different team. Yeah. But it's it just a name. The recency, it is definitely you know, completely different, the, the recency by the, the recency of them being in the playoffs was like, ah, it's not that crazy, but the team is crazy. It's just the fact that the Kings, that headline is going to be insane. If you actually read, like, what he said. Mm. If you see after a 16-season drought, the Kings are finally in the playoffs, that's crazy. Let's see, like yeah. – We'll definitely keep our eyes because like I'm not saying season. like this doesn't happen or hasn't happened before, but like I'm not gonna lie, this is definitely the first time in a while that we see a lot of surprising teams high in the seeds, like or like they have a high seed. Like I'm not gonna lie, like dude, Utah, you so Utah's the first seed in the West, and then Portland's the third seed in the West, and those are two teams right now that I thought would be probably like still at a playing spot by now. Yeah, it just. I know you do definitely have a point with the Portland, Utah, the Kings, and then even the Kings playing. Do they? Did you have three teams already at, that are top five seed that going into the season I thought would be at the complete opposite. You could throw like, it in. I the thought East. they were going to be like a bottom five. Team. What about the East too? You got the Pacers and Washington. They're both play, right now. They're playoff teams right now. Yeah, too. I mean, even the East. That's what I'm saying. It's just I think the West. I th- I still think the West. Like I assume going into the season would probably have a little bit more bad teams. Yeah, like the bottom five is probably what? worse. But like I, if you if you would have told me if I would have thought that Utah. Um, Portland and Sacramento would be, a, they would all be top yeah. five seeds, like by like what fifteen games in. I would be like, no, you're crazy. Yeah, and what? they're like, and they're playing good though. Like I can't see them like, like I said, even though there is a world where I see them finally coming back down to earth. You know, we've been saying that a lot, but like they're playing good basketball. So like it's not like they're slipping by wins or like you have a lot of teams that are just playing bad. Like they're playing good and they have quality wins. Like the Jazz. Like, they're first seed in the West, but, like, right now, like, honestly deserve it because they're beating everyone. Like, they're just yeah. playing better basketball than everybody in the West. Bro, and I'm like, dude, and I'm like, I don't fun, know how, bro. dude. Like, their that's roster's not is. good, you know? It's, no, it's, it's they're just going out there and having fun, bro. There's no I expect- think that's what it is, dude. There's, there's just, just no, no expectations. expectations. They're yeah, playing with no, no pressure, bro. Like, they're just balling. Yeah. And like I said, I had no idea Lloyd Markham was going to average, like, whatever he's doing. 20, yeah. You know what I'm saying, dude? Yeah, 22. And he had, like, what? He had a his recent game, or he had, like, a 38 ball, I think. He had a uh, against. Are you talking about the Suns? Yeah, against Phoenix. Uh, he, yeah, he had against, what thirty eight? He had thirty eight against yeah. the Suns. That, yeah, that's yeah. wild, bro. It is insane. And the game winner. Yeah, and the game winner. Cool. I'm like, dude, like Lori's actually balling, bro. Like yeah. you could say that he is the number one option on the first seed in the West. Yeah. yeah. What uh, the hell? I feel like the like the East and West. Like I feel like the East will stay similar like throughout the whole season. Yeah, but that's the what West, I'm saying. I, feel, I can see the West changing Just a lot. Completely I, think the, changing. I think the East is more like yeah. consistent. Like yeah. you're gonna see. All the teams that you expect to be at the top of the leaderboard, like they're yeah. going to be there all year. The West is going to, I think that's going to change all season long. Yeah. Well, the one other question I want to ask you guys real quick. Um, obviously, you guys can bring up other questions for the Kings and stuff like that. But we were just talking about SGA being a lock for All Star. Mm-hmm. Could you lock in D Fox for his very first All Star selection? Yeah, he's definitely playing at All Star level right now. Yeah, I would say. I mean, yeah. the, the Kings are in a higher position. I mean, I don't obviously. Yeah. But the Kings are in a higher seed than the, the 
<laughs> yeah, I think you'd have to put. But I'm telling you, that's just like it's the yeah, whole. It has a lot to do with the but it's just the whole like. The guards in the NBA are so stacked, bro. Because like Darren Fox, like, let's be real, like he, there's no way that he hasn't been an All Star yet. You know what I'm saying? Like every year people talk, every yeah, every year people talk about how, like he's been snubbed. You know what I'm saying? Like he's underrated. You know he's 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 usually an All Star caliber player every year he can be, and he just never made one. You know what I'm saying? So like to say this year, I mean he probably can. This is his opportunity to, but like yeah. he's been in this position before, like his yeah, whole career almost. That's why I was on my phone for a little bit because I was looking at all the time, sure that. Mm-hmm. I was like, I feel like yeah, because he's ne- he's never made an All Star game. I'm playing. I'm plugging Mike. In the West, like the All Stars, I'm like guards at least. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, I'm gonna go down like first Phoenix. You got Booker. That's one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Lillard two, and then uh, the, uh, I'm here. I'll, I'll leave Darren Fox out. Ja. Yeah. And then Luca. Yeah. And then Curry. Curry. Mm-hmm. But, like that's already five. That's, that, but that's really it though. And then okay. And then you can. So then you and got then Shea and So then you got Sh- Fox. add Shy, add Fox. Yeah, I think that I think you could do that. Six guards. Because that's I'll say that's I, seven. Because you got two starters. That'd be seven. Be so I mean, how many they? How many are on the All Star game? How many they bring? Twelve, uh, or fourteen. Nah, I feel like they bring like fourteen or fifteen. Fourteen, right? Because yeah. they have a couple extra. Well, because you would roster. have two starting guards, and you probably at least have like four or three off the bench. I feel like because then you got to think about like all the forwards and yeah. Uh, that's what I'm saying. It's just like when you talk about like All Star, like obviously like it's because uh, even Booker people talk about like he's been snubbed at the All Star game too. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, and like we all know he's Shea an All Star sure caliber player. If one of them can make it, it'll be Shay. But like yeah. you gotta think you have people get hurt and stuff. But that's just like all star voting. That's too. Like thing. sometimes I mean, honestly, like right you now. can't you can't really trust all star voting either. Yeah. Like it's Hey, like, what was Jaws uh, injury? I can't remember what I it's saw. His, I it's his ankle. It's, it was a, high it's, ankle a, it's a grade one high ankle sprain, okay. I think. Yeah. yeah. But he's out for a minute. Yeah, and that's yeah. another thing. Let's hope that doesn't linger on because if that lingers on, he's most likely out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that just depends on his injury and shit like that. And I mean, like last year, like the West, like it was depleted with injuries. Yeah, and oh, you yeah. still had players like Darren Fox who didn't make it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But he wasn't yeah. playing this well. right. He wasn't playing yeah, this good. This but crazy, like that's yeah. what I'm saying though. It's like you still like I feel like Fox throughout his career has had multiple chances to make an All Star yeah. appearance because like he's good enough. He's an All Star caliber player. Yeah. But like, when is it? Is this year finally going to be the year that he could possibly make it, or is he going to get snubbed again? <laughs> I mean, he's playing like it. If the West stays healthy, then we'll see. We'll yeah. have to see. Yeah. Yeah. I'm with y'all because I do want to see him and Shy definitely make an All Star because that'd be crazy. An All Star game because they're where good the enough, dude. Is this year? Uh, Utah? I don't know, right? Is, is it, it this year? Yeah, Utah? it's in Utah. Oh, yeah. yep. that's probably why. Hey, Lori. Hey, that means Lori's gonna make it. Hey. They're gonna make sure to vote Lori in. Hey. I promise Home you that. Advantage. I promise you Home that. Court advantage. They're gonna be like, damn, Lori. Okay. It, okay, Lori. It's in your city. Hey. You gotta go. Is there anything you guys want to talk about? I mean, like we know we got two two topics, but we don't just gotta leave it at that. How long we? How long we at? Oh, that, that's longer than I thought. Uh, mm-hmm. I mean, Celtics are looking like the best team right now. Uh, they are number one. Yeah, which is really like not surprising. Yeah. Hey. Well, it is surprising. Hey, number five. Some people thought they'd fall. Hey, number five, the Trailblazers. Yeah, no. Y'all shocked about the Trails, Trailblazers being five in power rankings? Oh, for yeah, sure. Yeah, I mean, I just mentioned that. I was like, bro, like the Blazers. <laughs> they're, they're crazy. Like, I, yet again, they're a team that I thought would also like be Like struggle, at least struggle. Yeah. I, d- I definitely said they got uh, they were actually going to be pretty good this year, but I thought they were a playing team. I didn't yeah. think they would be a <clears throat> top yeah. three seed in the West as of right now. I think there's like – I don't I don't think I had them even in the play. Hold I on, think there's see. a – Let me make sure. I just think I in general right now there's quite a few teams, well, especially in the West, that are just struggling. The thing struggling. about the West is the 10th from the 1 is 9-10-11. 12 is four game like differential so yeah. like the the dumb ones he has 12 wins and then the eighth seed has eight and yeah. you can even the warriors have eight yeah. like you know what i'm saying and they're not even in so and they're just, and they're 11 yeah it's just uh, like yeah i had the blazers it's just at, at the nine, beginning so. of the season so like yeah. nobody's really like been able to run away yet that's yeah. that's why so that's what i'm saying like right now could you say like and the nba right now is the most competitive it's been in a minute because yeah, there's no true. super teams right that's now true. but could you say like the west right now is probably more of a more of a uh, curveball than the East. Oh, for sure. Because, oh, like, the sure. West, like, yeah. like, like, you think it's going to be like that all season? No. Like, you think it's going to, like, be, like, Dude, up and all down all season? Or do all you think, like, eventually all the teams that you expect to be up there will be up there? Realistically, all- no. Hypothetically, as a fan, you want it. Right. You want it to continue because that just adds more excitement to it. It just adds more – it adds this – Crazy element to to the season, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I just feel like the end of the season is going to be a lot more entertaining than it has been in the past. Mm-hmm. Right? It's like people are going to be like, like the playoff more in the running for it. Yeah. Yeah. Playoff push might actually be like very I just, competitive. I feel like you yeah. will see a lot of people resting. Like mm-hmm. I, I seen the Warriors resting their stars against the Pelicans, and I was like, like why? Like why are yeah. you doing that? Yeah, 
It's a close game. That's a that's a good game. So like, uh, just ruined it. What about since we Thanks, Warriors. since we also enjoy talking <laughs> about this team, like Kawhi? Talk about Kawhi. Kawhi, Kawhi came back. He was, Did uh, he? Yeah. He's After how many games though? I think it was. I think it was out for seven or six. Yeah. See, that's that's so bad. Yeah. Yeah, he's been underwhelming. Yeah. Just because the fact that he's just been sitting out and hasn't been yeah. playing. Yeah, I think they've won every game he started though. So. Mm-hmm. So. That's, I, mean, I mean, he is that type of player, be, I mean, though. It's not. I mean, it's not not a secret. They're better when they're he's there. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he just needs. I don't. He makes me mad because I'm so high on the Clippers, and it's just. Yeah, like, I know. I get it. I mean, they're ten and seven. Um, but I mean, yeah. It's, it's just, just like we expect Kawhi to come back and yeah. be elite. Yeah. I just don't know if I could trust a team who doesn't have their star player playing all the season. Like, cause yeah. you still have to. Like at the end of the day, you got to learn how to play together. And yeah. Stuff. So it's just like hard to trust him. And but I mean, I knew Kawhi was on a low manager, but he, he, he does it, dude. And I, especially him coming off of a serious injury, like yeah. I knew, I'm like, bro, he's not gonna play. Like he'll give you at least like f- probably maybe 50 games max. The crazy you thing know is, though, like he's, for real, he's gonna sit out. Think, like, like he's had more than enough time, like to come back though. Like you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. he sat, like he got hurt in the playoffs. And yeah. then he two sat years, the rest bro. Of the playoffs, but I'm then, saying, like, but like he's done the it. Season, he's he but I'm just saying, like, bro. he's done it before though. Like even like when he's healthy, yeah. like even when he's not 100, percent but like he's good enough to play. Like he he just sits out. Like that's what he does. It just makes you question like how how bad he wants it. But then he comes on the court and does like. Yeah. Like he plays great, so it's just like, man, Kawhi. You like, you just, you, bro, you, you can't read him, bro. You can't yeah. read the guy. You can't read yeah, him. It's just frustrating because I was so high on the Clippers. But, like, they're still good. It's just a hard, it's frustrating. It's just that you know the, the like, like you're saying, like, they're you know playing they good. Be. They're playing good, but you know that. It's just no, there's, like, when he's on the court, yeah. there's just no secret they're better. It's you just know what an I'm saying? expectation thing for Kawhi because yeah. yeah. he's elite. Like, when he's on the court playing, like, he's a top five player in the league. Yeah. But he just doesn't play. No. And we haven't seen him play at that level it's since just like sad. recent playoffs. Mm-hmm. It is sad. Before he got hurt. Yeah. Yeah. So like what about the Lakers? Like, because you know, we kinda like to talk about this team a lot too. Like any hope for them, like possibly no, slipping I told into y'all the before the season even started. I was like, I, I don't mean, know where I mean like, I don't know where hey, the hell I mean, y'all got look, some. Bro, I don't like, know. We know what the key is, Anthony Davis. And the way he's playing. Oh, well, he's I mean, playing good right anything, now, bro. Like he has like a great three game stretch. Yeah, just w- three games. Wait until he gets you, bro, injured. AD, again. AD's on a mission this year, bro. He's trying to play. AD's gonna play this year, bro. Don't start my don't get hurt. Don't get your hopes up. He's playing Don't good. get your hopes up. This is a three game win streak. Good, bro. Come back to me when I'm he's just, like. I'm just happy for you. Hey, I'm not hey. I don't want to get my hopes hey, up. Hey, come back to no, me. Come no, back no, to I don't me when my he's hopes on up. I'm just saying, game. like, I'm excited for him playing good because, yeah, like, this is yeah. finally the AD that like we've been wanting to see yeah. forever. Like, it's the AD he, they traded for. Yes, this yeah. is the AD that we expect to finally like get handed over the keys. You know, like he needs to be the number one guy, not LeBron. And right now, like, he's playing like it. Like he's great offensively. He's great defensively, and he's staying on the court playing. Yeah. So I mean, let's, it's but, just, but I know, second, like, but I they still, second to yeah, last in the West, so it really don't money. matter. I still they still put money second on to them, last in the West, so it really don't matter. That's I was insane. Just, <laughs> I was just surprised when they beat the Nets, and then they ended up beating the Pistons and yeah. Spurs. I mean, we, I mean, they're, I mean, give like it or not, their schedule was kind of hard to start off the season. It so was. Like, it really was. They're they're getting to like the easier part. I mean, it's still not a cakewalk, but I mean, it's getting easier. So mm-hmm. I, like I said, they won the games they needed to against the Spurs and the Pistons. Mm-hmm. So like, it like last year they lost some of those games. So mm-hmm. if the Lakers can keep that up, you can maybe see them sneak in the play in too. But yeah, y'all had them in locks. Mm, I had them in tenth seed. That's not really a lock. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I didn't have them at all. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But it's just hard for me personally seeing any of these teams in the West that are top ten really slipping out though. Like the most, mm-hmm. like I, like literally the most person with the chance is Utah, and they're the damn number one. Seed. Like that's, <laughs> that's what like, I'm saying. If you had, okay, that's so what's like, crazy. So like, bro, so is Utah like is Utah you, the only team right now in the top ten that you're Confident that would slip out. That's what's crazy. Like the like, only yes. team. Like you. Like, like them and the Kings are like. like I'm confident. Because like, <laughs> it's that's not fair to nuts, say though. Bro. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's not fair to say though. But like yes, yeah, like like I'm confident the Suns will be there. I'm co- I'm actually confident the Trailblazers will be there. Yeah. The Nuggets, the Grizzlies, the Pelicans, Clippers, yeah. Mavericks. Maybe the maybe the Timberwolves miss. I don't know. Because like, I mean, yeah, it, it, it's easy to look at them, but like, yeah. But you got to put the Portland Warriors in there Sacramento too. Like the Warriors are going to end up getting in there too. Yeah. So you got to put yeah. them in there. So somebody you got to take one team out. Yeah. Which is it? I think it'd be probably be in the conversation. I'm sorry, my. I'm sorry, but I think the conversation of the three teams that could come out is probably the Wolves, the Kings, and the Jazz. Yeah, I'm with you on yeah. that. Just, I think that's the it dream. Just, it's just hard I to think say because we're 18 games in. Yeah. yeah. I'm saying it's just it is extremely early. It's just like you look at that and like. It just doesn't look right. But, like, before you know it, we'll be damn f- near 40 wins. And, like, yeah. the teams that are sl- starting off slow, it look, it's going to come back to bite them in the ass. So. Yeah. yeah. So they better get going. We're almost in December. <coughs> Lakers. Plus, like, how it was Lakers. last no, year. Lakers, yeah. I feel like Warriors. I really, I really, <laughs> Warriors, yeah. I really don't so start taking a lot of these teams
Like that's almost half the season. They were, bro. they were no, but what I'm saying is like, look at Boston, right? Last so, year. hey, so like the first, they were, hey, they were one of the. So essentially, the first half just don't matter. All right, all right. No, man. like it, ma- <laughs> no, it matters. But what I'm saying is I like, know. for example, like again, Boston last year, like they were one of the worst teams in the East, and then after All Star break, they went on like this legendary run, right? Yeah. So I'm saying like it depends on like like for example Utah, like if they stay consistently and they're a top five seed like through All Star break and then. By the second half of the season, if they still were playing good, then you can say, okay, yeah, like, no, like, they could m- legit make the playoffs. Right. Because, like, that's, like, yeah, like, obviously, like, it's just like anything else. Like, you don't want to judge it too early, but also, like, still it's a long season. Yeah. And, like, second half of the season is when players start coming back healthy. That's when teams are like, okay, now, after it's been now, we gotta break, lock in. now we have to start locking in because the playoffs are right around the corner. You know, yeah. so then these are when teams are actually going to start locking in and playing much better. So then you'll really see, like, what teams are actually, like, still legit or not. Mm-hmm. So we'll see. I don't yeah, know. You got a point. Yeah, I'm with you. The Cavs need to pick it up. <laughs> Cavs do need to pick it up. Losing five in a row. Yeah. <laughs> in, a, in a tough East, they gotta they gotta five. Get, they gotta get it going. Yeah, they're, they're back. Yeah, we was on a sure. five game losing streak, and now uh, we just won two in a row. So okay, okay, okay. We'll, see. We'll, see. we'll see. I thought y'all were on a four, not five. Uh, we was on a five game losing streak. Oh crap! Because right. we went on that West Coast trip, and we only beat the Lakers. Oh shit! Lost to the Kings, the yep. Warriors. Yep. Um, the Clippers. <laughs> Um, Kings, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. yeah, we uh, lost to the Kings, Warriors, um, Clippers. But then we came back and lost to the Bucks, though. And then like, we lost to the Bucks when we came back. Yep, oh, which was shit. sad because bro, half their roster was depleted too, and we still lost. Damn. And the honest didn't even like play great, and we yeah. still lost. Brook Lopez had Brook Lopez had like twenty nine points. That's so sad. But yeah, it's all right. We'll be Sorry. all right. It's all right. We'll be all right. I'm confident. It's okay. Hey, did you guys see what happened with Giannis and uh? What's his face? Uh, uh, Tuba- uh not Tuba- uh, the uh, what the hell, Montrezl Harrell? Yeah, Montrezl Harrell. Oh, and the the, the whole funny. ladder thing that <laughs> was funny. I saw that. That was funny. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah, Giannis threw the ladder. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But did you, did you find out? Like, did you hear what every, like what was the entire story about it? Yeah, he he took the ball first because he had a scheduled practice, and then he went back in the locker room. Who had a scheduled practice? Montrezl Harrell had a scheduled practice. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Saying. Okay. I'm checking in with you. Which what else? What happened? Bro, he went, the, he went in the locker room, got, Who? A, got a ball. Giannis. Okay, okay, continue. Bro, t- dude, no. Just <laughs> press him. <laughs> I, I want to know because I don't know the story, so I want to listen. If I did that to you, you'd <laughs> I'd, be, I'd be mad. I'd I'm be mad just trying to listen. Just, I don't know the whole I'm story, so I want him to tell it. Okay, look, I'm just showing you I Giannis know what happened. was shooting free throws, right? And then Montrezl Harrell came, took the ball, right? right? And he was just like staring him down like a little kid. Yeah. <laughs> just being weird. Yeah. Giannis was like, give me the ball back. And he was just like playing around. And he went to the other side of the court, started shooting his free throws. Giannis went to his own locker room, got a basketball. Was came back and then a lady who worked there put a ladder in the front of him so he couldn't yeah. shoot. Yep. And then he got mad and he threw the he threw, he threw, the, ladder. He threw the ladder. Yeah, bro, Giannis is like so. But petty. you know why he was trying y- to Giannis throw free is petty, bro. Yeah, he, had, he shot, but he, he had a he had a really he shot. Bad. He shot like I think it was like four for fifteen from yes, free throw or it was like for four for fifteen. So he had a bad free throw performance. Yeah. So that's why he he wanted to work on his free throw. Yeah, <laughs> but the whole ladder no, thing is funny. funny. Did you hear about <laughs> his brother coming out <laughs> trying to fight uh, Harold? No, I didn't see that. Yeah, bro, he did that. Yeah, his brother came out. and He was like, "Bro, if you're gonna disrespect no, Giannis, funny. you have to go through me." Hey, oh my the odds the Kumpo brothers don't play around, man. Bro, Montrez Harold, they're blood, dude. To be doing that, Montrez Harold. Yeah, I don't know why he was doing that. It plus it's his home court, bro. I mean, like, his home court. I mean, it's Montrez hair. <laughs> like, I get it, but also, like, bro, that's Giannis. Like, chill. Yeah. Like, you don't do that, bro. First of all, you would. That's the wrong person. Because, like, I look at, like, Montrez, too. I'm like, bro, I'm not going to lie. Like, if you was trying to, like, get in some reps and, like, someone was doing that, you would not do the same thing. Like, you would get mad, too, if someone was trying to mess up with your shooting around. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, if it was, like, flip flopped. I'm like, bro, like, he fell off a, Montrez Harrell fell off a cliff, too. <laughs> yeah. He did. He's not good anymore. Dude, I saw that, bro. That was so funny. I'm like, bro. The, I was like, you know how much of a menace you got to be to piss off Giannis? No, like, he was like, gen- like no, he, he was pissed ge- him off. No, like, he, he didn't just get no, him he mad. he was generally upset. Like, like he was he mad. He was, like, f- in, like, fumes. Like, that's what thought, That's what was funny to me, in my opinion. And you know funny. Giannis is a person. Like, he's, like, a great person. And, like, mo- like even, like... A lot of times, like in his press conferences, like he's always like goofing around. Yeah. Like half the time, he doesn't even talk about basketball after basketball. Like yeah. he's just like saying dumb shit. He's just goofing around, laughing, and like when he's actually like mad, it's just like, whoa! Like yeah. that means you like actually, you actually make yeah, like it, you actually like pissed him off if he's yeah. actually mad because he doesn't get mad. Yeah. So I'm like, dude, Montrez really triggered something. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't. I mean, I don't. I mean, he. Sh- I mean. I get why he was mad. He did. I mean, but the, he threw the ladder. Like that was that was like crazy. That was a crazy. Oh, the ladder part, thing bro. was nuts. That like, was he actually, crazy. Like threw the ladder, and I was yeah. like, bro, like I was, he got chill. Like, bro, he's got to like actually relax, bro. I yeah. get. I mean, I see the frustration though. Yeah, but I mean, it's also Giannis. Like, what are they gonna do? It's Giannis. Dude, that'd be scary. <laughs> <laughs> like Giannis is a big dude,
Like you, you can't just him off. No. She was not, insane. Not, He's about to go crazy next time he plays the 76ers. <laughs> <laughs> he about to drop like 50. Montrez Harrow ain't going to go at him. <laughs> <laughs> they better not put Montrez Harrow on his ass. Hey, that's just going to be funny, though. If they do, they start throwing hands. Philly sucks, though. Huh? I said Philly sucks, too, right now. Who? Philly. I said Philly sucks, too, right now. Oh. No, you can't say Philly to me, bro, because Philly, <laughs> I think about the baseball team. You got to say the 76ers, bro. bro what? The hell? I don't know, bro, because oh, the World th- Series th- like literally just ended, so and we all do you, fi- do you talk about them, and you just say Philly. So you thought I was talking about the Phillies? Yeah, I was like, that's what I was like. That's what I made no, you say like Philly. three times, and I'm like, bro, what yeah, are you, you saying? Yeah, you just mentioned the Phillies. I'm sorry. I apologize. Like, it's just my, my bad. Yeah, my he tweet, tweaked. Bro. Sorry, oh, guys. Man. How is that <laughs> a big of a tweak, bro? The, 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 bro all right, bro. Yeah, I like the Phillies. I didn't. <laughs> it's just that the world they were in the World Series. Sorry, like, Tyrus. I know you like the Phillies. <laughs> the Bryce Harper. Sorry. He likes Bryce Harper. We didn't Harper. get to talk about it, but sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what? Hey, hey, y'all ready for the 27th, though? <laughs> what, Thanksgiving? <laughs> no. <laughs> what? <laughs> Thanksgiving is the 24th, kid. What's, what's the 27th? <laughs> That's the 24th. Yeah. What's the 27th? You know what 27th is? No. <laughs> Guess what it is? What? It's a full fucking day of sports. From uh, 5 in the morning to like 10 at night for the last NBA game. Oh, because of all day oh, long. All sports, all day long. All day long, baby. He just said that like I was supposed to know. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I was like, I ain't going to lie. I talked about this like like maybe like yeah, uh, but I didn't remember maybe like three weeks ago. Hey, shout out to 27. You got nothing to do. Just watch sports all day. Hey, Sunday. From, hey, from 5 a.m. against uh, the first game is uh, Japón versus Costa Rica. Who you got? Uh, Costa Rica. All right, bet. You don't really got anyone in Japan. I, I got Brazil lie. in the World Cup. Hey, yeah. Shout out to the World Cup. The World Shout Cup finally World started Cup. yesterday, USA Sunday, today, today, today uh, Monday, USA, USA tied, tied against <laughs> Wales. Uh, England England destroyed Iran with 6 and 2. Yeah, Netherlands. Uh, the Netherlands. Beat Senegal, right? Yeah, they beat them. Uh, I think it was 1 0. No, it was 1 0. I think. Oh. I'm not too good. No, it was 1 0. I watched the game. I don't know why I'm too good. I forgot. Because it was a pretty boring game. I ain't gonna was lie, it? that was a pretty, pretty pretty boring game, yeah. But then nope, they won 2-0. Oh, right. it's 2-0? <laughs> yeah. Okay. My bad. Hey, you were right. My bad. But yeah, hey. Shout out, shout out to the World Cup. Finally started. Hey, Mexico plays tomorrow. Tuesday. Mexico. Hell. You confident? Against, against Poland. You confident? Oh. Hell no. <laughs> He's like, nah. I ain't gonna lie. We're not, I don't think if we lose to Poland, we're out, we're out to group stages. If we somehow beat Poland or tie them, eh, we got a chance. Why do you like Mexico? Got a chance. I'm Mexican? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Bro, what? <laughs> you think I'm going to mess hey, with USA? Why do you like Mexico? You think I'm going to mess with USA? Hey, hey, no offense. I was born here. I do I do love the USA, but y'all are ass in soccer. <laughs> Bro, you so, Mexi- so I got to choose well, Mexico. I got to choose Mexico. Well, I, mean, yo, I mean, our men's Mexico. Team. Oh, the first the first time in like how many years? Bro, like, be confident. Hey, y'all beat us three three games in a row. Chill out. That's only happened like what? Like say, three if, times in like, chill out. Who would you put money on to win? USA or Mexico? I put I put my entire all my money on Mexico to win. You're dumb. Pulisic wouldn't go for that. He well, wouldn't. We probably lose. <laughs> and Matt Turner. Matt Turner. Oh, fuck Matt Turner, bro. <laughs> hey. Shout out to, to the World Cup though. Shout out to the World the Cup. The finals are December 18th. Go check it out. Support your country. You don't know how long we're going to be in it, so. Yeah. Support Facts. it while they're in. If anything, y'all are, like, right now, y'all tied. Y'all probably out at the group stages. We couldn't even get out. <laughs> I don't think y'all, I don't think y'all, I don't think y'all make it out of group stages. Whatever. It's definitely a possibility. I, do. I don't know. England and the United States makes it hey, out. Hey, there's always 2026, bro. For the round of 16. 2026. Where's it at? USA? Canada, USA, and Mexico. Sweet. Mexico opens it. And then Why USA is it three countries. That's not fair. Ah, uh? is it always like that? No. Wait, that that's in twenty twenty six. Twenty twenty six. It's yeah. every four years. Mexico, It'll be USA, in three countries. Canada. Yeah. Oh shit. I, th- I I think this is the first time they've ever done it. That's lame. Where's Us, that's three. lame. Yeah, I can remember. Uh, but it's uh, Mexico opens it, uh, and then the final is uh, United States. I was, about to say, I was gonna ask like, how does that how does that work? Final like, will be in USA. That? Yeah. Well, that's hard actually. It's either it's either the, uh, so uh, the cities that are in <laughs> I talks. Was just saying that like, where's it gonna be? So the, fly? No, the, uh, that's where it is. It's okay, probably, yeah. So it, it, the it's talks is so either fly. SoFi or uh, the Cowboy Stadium, Dallas. Yeah, that oh, makes that makes sense. sense too. It's one of those two that's gonna be it. So the stadium's like really nice. Yeah. The ones that's gonna open it is Estadio Azteca, the way it should be. You know, Mexico's a powerhouse. La Cecina. <laughs> Not nah, Sessie, not. No, I think that dude's Colombian. Chill out. <laughs> <laughs> all right, bro. Chill out. All right. You guys, all right. All right. Brilliant it back in, forgetting about the World Cup. Like, no, don't like, forget about the World like, Cup. Even though it's the biggest sport in the world, like, we all know that. But, like, really back into the NBA. Y'all got anything else to add for the NBA? Nah, straight. Well, just keep watching. It's, that's all I got to say. We'll, 
Go Kings. <laughs> hey. Go Kings. For the people that actually watched, I think probably like we're in minute in the forties already. This is episode ninety nine. Episode ninety nine. So Guys, almost we there. appreciate it. We are almost We there. appreciate it. Our football episode will be our 100th episode like, of all time. Audio in and visual. 100th episode We keep doing it for crazy, you guys. Man. Even though you may think we're not, we are. Uh, don't forget, like, comment, share, subscribe, follow us, DM us. Let us know what we're doing, what you like, how we're doing, what you don't like. And, hey, if you want us to talk about something in specific, like if you feel like we're not talking about a certain team, like today, we talked about Kings. I could guarantee you no one thought we would talk about the Kings, but, hey, we out here talking about the Kings. <laughs> so if there's someone, like a team or, or a person, a GM, anyone, or anything you guys want to talk about, just DM us. Let us know. We might we might talk about it. We might not. It just depends. But with that being said, it's been fun. It's been real. And this has been your starting five.